it's Emily here from uh, Divine Energy Alchemy. Um, I am just popping up very quickly um, because just having a moment, I take Mondays off just to kind of, you know, re reconnect with myself, what I need to do um, for the week, how I'm going, what I need to change, all that sort of stuff. And I just wanted to share with you um, that one of the really first keys in making change in your life is awareness. Um, quite often we can have those niggling feelings of going, oh, not happy or I'm unfulfilled or not worthy or all that sort of stuff. And the, and the one thing that I talk to a lot of my clients and we discuss in circle and in my coaching is that very first step is awareness. Um, and that is just being aware of the self. Um, there's so much freedom that comes with being aware because it provides us with the ability to then make a choice, a choice um, going towards, you know, the goal, going towards the ultimate feeling that we're wanting to um, or that we're heading towards. Um, and awareness is this beautiful ability uh, to be able to realize what we're doing. So it's taking a step back um, from, you know, ourselves uh, in a loving and compassionate and supportive way with with the uh, with the intent to learn and grow from ourselves um, where where I, this is all about dropping the judgment the shame the blame the guilt all that you know stuff that holds us back uh, so it's being aware it's this this beautiful ability to take like I said take that step back to observe ourselves to observe, our actions, our reactions, the choices that we make, um, our thoughts, uh, observe how we are interacting with the world around us, what our emotions are like and how we honour them, uh, observe the work that we do or how we, you know, interact with other people around us. Um, and, and taking that step back and looking at our lives from an observation point of view with love and compassion, um, we can then make some beautiful decisions and choices as a detached viewer. So we're kind of stepping out of, you know, a, the high emotional state that we can be trapped in um, and take that step back and go, okay, bigger picture, what's going on for me? Um, so, I've had a lot of conversations just recently on how we are conditioned from a very young age, you know, to outsource acceptance and self-worth and love and all that sort of stuff. Whereas we hold it within ourselves as well. Like this divine skin suit, you know, vehicle is, is our ultimate gift if we choose to look at ourselves that way. Um, so awareness is that very first step towards making any sort of change in your life, whether it's a mindset, whether it's physical, emotional, whatever it is, um, because we can't make change unless we're actually aware that one needs to be made in the first place. And so, you know, be aware of what triggers us, be aware of the conversations that you have, or be aware of what makes you upset, what makes you happy, what makes you feel blissful. Um, and then we can have this beautiful understanding of why we do things the way that we do or what we're doing even in the first place. Um, and so sometimes it can be difficult not to change because we don't have an understanding or we don't have an awareness of why we're doing it. We're just doing it because we've always done it that way. We've been taught it or we've learnt it as a coping mechanism that may no longer serve us for where we are today in this moment. Um, so being aware, you know, you're just following old patterns or can you make, can you take that step back and make a different choice? Um, we have to make the choices from where we are at any given moment. You know, not even five minutes ago when we may have been cranky or, or ultimately happy or whatever. Um, and so, yeah, it can become difficult not to change because we're no longer asleep to the truth of our behaviours. So once we begin to um, take notice 
of who we are, how we present ourselves to the world and if that's how we want to be presented, if that's how we want to act or be in this world. Um, and we can then sort of get to the root cause of, you know, why things keep happening, why there aren't changes happening, even though you might be implementing small changes, but are they the root cause? Um, and I love through the work that we do, like through the kinesiology, through the Reiki, the energy work that I do, that we can bypass this logical brain that goes, no, no, this is right, this is right. Um, which can sometimes just stem from our ego who doesn't like change or to be challenged. If we can take that step back from that and go, oh, let's dive deeper. What is your body's wisdom holding that you can actually tap into via, you know, having a session, an energy session to then be able to clear. So then we bring an awareness to some just old habits that you just do because they're just habitual. You don't even think about it. It just happens. Uh, we get to the core, we get to the source, the root of the problem, and we can clear that and um, enable ourselves to make different choices. Um, we can break old habits, the limiting beliefs, all that sort of stuff that we are 90% not consciously aware that we run. You know, that's our program. That's how we run. So, yeah, awareness um, is, is a really cool an empowering tool that I, I can share with you know my clients and whoever wants to listen, whoever's willing to actually take a look at themselves, you know, own all parts of themselves, the good, the bad and the ugly, um, to be able to then come back to the self with love and compassion and to go, okay, well, that no longer serves me. It possibly did. It possibly never has. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to pass that on to you so that maybe this week you can have um, take some time out to be really aware of how you are interacting with the world whether it's people places things yourself um, and just start to notice what works for you and what is not working for you anymore um, half the time we are the ones or more than half the time we're the ones that get in our own way so when we can come with ourselves, look at ourselves with um, as the observer and have the awareness of what our thoughts are, what are we telling ourselves, what are we allowing into our, you know, our bubble of energy um, that either depletes us or lifts us up. Um, so being, being aware, being aware of your surroundings um, and, um, and when you can access that and you know and it is a new habit so it's you know it's a learning process it's just one one of the tools one of the strategies that you can have if you want to feel more free if you want change in your life um, you've got to know what aspects of yourself that you do need to change and it's not saying that anything's bad or not good or whatever it's just you are the observer of yourself with love and compassion, with the aim to grow, with the aim to bring in that inner peace, that happiness, the fulfillment, the freedom that we all, you know, ultimately want in our lives. Um, so have a think about that. Bring your awareness to yourself. Bring your awareness to your thoughts. Um, and it'd be really interesting to see, you know, what you find out about yourself. And it's doing it from a non-judgmental place. Um, and if those ideas come up that go, oh my God, I really, I just cracked the shits over that and does it really matter? Um, and, you know, I can talk to you later about the catastrophe scale where you can kind of go, was that a big deal or not a big deal? And what mood was I in? Did that make a difference? Um, but yeah, I, my challenge to you this week is to bring awareness to yourself on all areas um, it's really quite liberating and and empowering to then for you to be able to stand in your power and go oh, I'm going to make a different decision I'm going to react differently or I'm going to think differently um, but being aware that's the only way that you can then make those decisions to make different choices so have some fun with it and play with it but yes very liberating um, bringing in that freedom and inner peace of being aware 
So take care for now. Have a great week. Bye.